Hello and welcome to Yo Storytime. This is a fun story about a farmer and his prized pet. Indeed, it is a story that you and your child will come to cherish and I believe will learn an important lesson from. Enjoy! A children's story written and illustrated by G. Everett Holt. Farmer Ben Jones and his prized cow Maureen. The spring near approaching. The melting of dew. Made the air pleasant and everything new. And right in the middle of the tall grass green. Of course. Was farmer Ben Jones and his prized cow Maureen. The farmer looked at his beauty. And after a while. You're the best cow in the world. He said with a smile. The old farmer was preparing that day. To adorn his cow in a very special way. For he received a letter. A note in the mail. An invitation to the. Renowned county fair. For Maureen. As you see. Is great all around. She can dance. She can sing. Better than any cow found. But most of all. She can give enough milk. If you please. To fill a bathtub. At least to her knees. And so. By the truck loads. Is teehee milk hauled away. And sold in the stores the very same day. Of course. Some of it too is shipped on a train to be made into creamery treats by great chefs in Spain raised from a calf and though young in years farmer Jones knew she would be grand among other heifers and steers oh you will be the best to be seen said old farmer Ben Jones to his prize cow Maureen the day of the fair came, and they hopped in the car. Maureen rode right up front. It wasn't too far. So down past the hay fields, the oak tree, and spring sped the fast farmer Ben Jones and his prized cow Maureen. While on their way, though almost there, they stopped four minutes to eat. On their way to the fair, down through the lane, past the gate, they did park, and just in time too, for it soon grew quite dark. They slept with their blankets pulled up real snug. Farmer Ben Jones felt secure from a big warm cow hug. Up with the sun to prepare for the day. First was the breakfast of jam on toast, eggs and hay, and here's to you babe. You'll sure be first class, said Farmer Ben Jones, as he toasted with milk in his glass. The first part of the fun was on the merry-go-round. But, Maureen liked the roller coaster, going up, coming down. And after all the rides and fun, preparation for showtime had to be done. Trimmed with flowers and sequins from her horn to her tail. Covered with perfumes and oils. Oh! What a smell! A little less here and a little more there. Yes! Now I think you are ready! Said the farmer. As he curled her hair. Well doll. I'll shave and I'll shower. Just give me a minute. We'll both look real nice. And we'll go out and win it. Well. To say the least. Maureen took the first blue. Here's to you. Said the judge. Thank you. She replied with a moo. Night to evening continued the fair and of course the contest. That's it for style beauty, and poise, smiled the judge, and now for the rest, 
It was time for the best in milk, butter, and cheese. But, where, oh where, were farmer Ben Jones and his prize cow Maureen? Just then entered the farmer, with his head hanging down, as he walked up to the judge and said with a frown, I think my cow is ailing, and feeling not right. She's as cold as an iceberg. She won't eat a bite. Is there a doctor in the house? Is there someone with skill? I must get her to bed to get rid of this chill. Yes. Things were gloomy. Gloomy indeed for Maureen the cow. Was as dry as a sunflower seed. But a doctor from the county. Life. Health. And care. Who just happened to drop by. And by some chance was there. Wanted to help and use his degree to save Maureen's health, horn, and limb. And of course pedigree. Oh. My my my. Exclaimed the doc with a grunt. This poor cow has. Junk food funitis. From her back to her front. But what can we do doc? Will it last very long? Did I do nothing right? Did I do something wrong? Oh. No Mr. Jones. She just got carried away. You could easily break this curse with fresh alfalfa hay. And he pulled from his warm bag. A pill made from sweet hay. And fine grass. Maureen washed it all down with punch in a glass. Doc sighed. Just let her rest and nap for a while. Everyone weeped. Maureen moved with a smile. But after a moment. An hour or so. While spirits were sad and feelings were low. The lights fell gently on the stage below. And right down there. Wouldn't you know? In the glitter and glimmer. Where all could be seen. Stood Farmer Ben Jones and his prize cow Maureen. The people all stood and everyone cheered. Now let the show go on. As the judges neared. Now now. Ye kind gents. We'll bring you a bucket. And then take a taste test. After you milk it. All the other dairy deers there. Deobled and dibbled. Some done and some did, but. The most Maureen had in her bucket. Was only a tid. Not near enough to have with wheat bread and jam. And not even enough. For one woolly lamb. But Farmer Ben Jones said. As he straightened her bow. You are still my best friend. Of that you should know. With the judging near over. And though down to last place. Maureen looked at her keeper. With a grin on her face. And all of a sudden and wouldn't you know. She lit up like a street lamp. Her eyes all aglow. Like from a movie The Dairyland Queen. Transformed into an incredible milking machine. Gallons of milk. Like never before. With each beat of her heart. She gave more and more. There were wonders not seen before. By the great to the least. While cream flooded the aisles. The throng had a feast. Maureen won the last entry. Farmer Ben Jones was proud. She received first place and a trophy. Hooray! Cheered the crowd. Good luck! Yelled the people. As they all waved goodbye. Thanks! Laughed Farmer Ben Jones. Perez milk in your eye. And you could see them drive into the sunset. To that tall grass green. Happy together. Farmer Ben Jones. 
and his prize cow. Maureen, 